Hey there! In this quick and easy guide, I'm going to show you how to download and install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 10, or just RHEL 10, on VMware. Whether you're testing it out, building something cool, or just curious to see what's new, you're in the right place. Step 1. Download the RHEL 10 ISO. Alright, first things first, let's grab the ISO file. Open up your browser and head over to redhat.com. Once you're there, go to Products, then choose Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Now click on Try It. And on that page, you'll see a button that says Start Your Trial. Go ahead and click that. If you already have a Red Hat developer account, just sign in. If not, you can create one. It's completely free. Once you're logged in, the RHEL10 ISO download should start automatically. It's a big file, a few gigabytes, so depending on your internet speed, it might take a little while. I'm going to cancel mine since I've already got it downloaded. Step 2. Set up a virtual machine in VMware. Now that we've got the ISO, let's create a virtual machine to install it on. Open up VMware Workstation or VMware Player, whichever you're using. Click on Create a New Virtual Machine. When prompted, choose Typical, Recommended, then hit Next. On the next screen, select Installer Disk Image File, ISO, and browse to the RHEL 10 ISO you just downloaded. For the operating system, select Linux, and for the version, go with Red Hat Enterprise Linux 964-bit. Since RHEL 10 isn't listed yet, that's the closest match. Now give your VM a name, something like RHEL 10 VM, and pick a location where you want to save it. Next, set the disk size. I recommend 20 gigabytes or more and choose the option to store it as a single file. Before we finish, you can click on Customize Hardware if you'd like to boost performance. I usually go with two CPUs and at least four gigs of RAM. Click on Network Adapter and change the connection type to Bridged. This makes sure your virtual machine shares the same network as your host system, which helps when you need internet access or want to connect to other devices on the same network. All set? Great! Click Finish, and your virtual machine is now ready to boot. Go ahead and start the VM. It should boot into the installer automatically from the ISO file you picked earlier. When the screen loads up, you'll see a few options. Just highlight the first one that says Install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 10.0 and hit Enter. After a few seconds, you'll land on the welcome screen. Here, pick your preferred language. Most people just go with English. And then click Continue. Now you're on the installation summary screen. This is where we set things up before the install actually begins. 1. Installation Destination Click on Installation Destination. This is where you tell the installer where to put RHEL. You'll probably only see one disk listed. Just make sure it's selected. Leave it on Automatic Partitioning unless you know what you're doing with custom setups. Then click Done to go back. 2. Root Account Next, click on Root Password. This is your main admin account, so give it a strong password. Something secure that you'll remember. When you're done, hit Done. 3. Create a user. Now click on User Creation to make a normal user account. For example, you can name it CloudBash or anything else you prefer. Set a good password here too and make sure you check the box that says Make this user administrator. That way they can use sudo.
When that's all set, click Done. Final step. Before install, take a look. If you don't see any warning signs on the summary screen, you're good to go. Click Begin Installation. The process will start and you'll see a progress bar. It might take a few minutes. Just let it run. All right, I'll fast forward through here to save you some time. Once it's done, click Reboot System to restart your VM. And boom, you're now running Red Hat Enterprise Linux 10. Go ahead and log in using the user account you created earlier. You might see a welcome or setup screen. Feel free to click skip or just breeze through it for now. System registration. Now we need to register the system. You'll see a button that says register system. Click on that. Here, you can register using either a username and password or an activation key. We're going to go with the username and password method. It's simple and works just fine with your Red Hat developer account. Enter your credentials, hit register, and give it a few seconds to complete. You're done. And that's it. You now have Red Hat Enterprise Linux 10 fully up and running inside VMware. You're all set to start developing, testing, or just playing around with the latest features Red Hat has to offer. If this guide helped you out, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more walkthroughs like this. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.